preparing for NEET PG, INICT or FMG and don't know how to proceed with your preparation? Then worry not because this is Dr. Nikita Nanwani here, your educator, mentor and friend to help you with the how and the smart strategy on how to crack these exams. Trust me, I have been through this process and I can tell you exactly what are the secret tips that a topper uses to crack these exams. So starting with it, remember that the four pillars to crack these exams is concepts, mnemonics, MCQ solving skills and revision. These are the four pillars. You have to work on each of these to ace these exams in a smart way. Concepts are very, very important because if your concepts are good, then no matter how twisted a question is on that topic, you would be able to answer that question. Now, once you've understood the concept, then comes the mnemonics. So for example, you understand the concept of like during the order of draw of the vacutainer tubes, First is the uh, sterile we want. So we take culture first, right? You've understood the concept. And then there's an entire sequence that you have to remember. And there has also been a question on recent INICT exam in recent INICT exam on this. What is the order of draw of these tubes, right? So until and unless you have a solid mnemonic to remember the sequence, you will not be able to recall it in the exam hall if you do not revise it just before the exam, right? And it's absolutely not possible to revise everything just one day before the exam. And that is where your mnemonics or mnemonics come into play, which help you in effortless recall, even if you have not revised before your exam, right? So I give you a lot of story mnemonics, interesting mnemonics to remember the stuff, right? So concepts, mnemonics then you need mcq skills and then you need revision revision has to be daily revision right from the day one of your preparation not after you finish the first cycle of reading please don't do that mistake right so how exactly i help you with the preparation is first of all i cater to radiology on the prep ladder app and the rest of the 18 subjects i cater to on my own app that is medsynapse app by dr Nikita, which is available on both android and ios right so we work on concepts, we work on mnemonics. So what should be your approach? How you should use MedSynapse app along with your primary resource? Let's talk about that. Now, the first question is, do you need to use MedSynapse app? Is it essential? The answer is an absolute yes. Not because it is my app and I'm promoting it, because, but because I can vouch and I can assure you that it's definitely going to be a score booster resource, a game changer resource in your preparation. Trust me, you're not. You know, all I can say is, Right? So if you're stuck with your GT scores at 110, you'll, you'll jump to 130, 140. If you're stuck at 130, you'll jump to 150. There are so many testimonials. You can read all of those in the MedSynapse app itself to know that how honest this is. So how does the MedSynapse app help and is it essential? Yes. Is it sufficient? No, right? It does not give you all the content. Basically, I work in the MedSynapse app on the principle of 80-20 principle, which says that right? 80% of your questions come from the 20% of the syllabus. So my major focus is on this 20% of the syllabus, making sure that you remember this 20% of syllabus very well, right? That, that helps you in solving those 80% of the questions. And then for the rest 20% of the questions, you need to use your primary resource, whatever it might be, right? So like you have prep ladder rapid revision videos, which are one of the best uh, resources available to complement along with the MedSynapse app. So what should be the exact sequence is, see, first of all, you need to build on your theory, right? So what I would recommend is start with the short, short videos available in the MedSynapse app. So for example, we are starting with the new timetable from 12th of January to 14th of April for the upcoming NEET PG INICT FMG students with the daily targets, right? For your self-study. So what you need to do is, so we are starting like, let's say from 13 January with FMT. And I've given you three days for FMT with the daily targets, like on day one, read jurisprudence, read the, uh, you know, the thanatology, then day three, read toxicology, all of that. So what you need to do is on day one, first finish off the short shot video. In the short shot course in the MedSynapse app, go to subject videos. Subject videos, for example, in FMT, the first video that you would see is short shot magic book video. Right. So this is a video which is complementary to the magic book that you have. You can purchase the magic book separately from the MedSynapse app or the MedSynapse Academy website as well. You can purchase it from there. Uh, the book has majority of the things which are annotated. You just need to watch the videos alongside to understand what has been written in the book. So first you complete off the short shot. That is absolutely essential. 
Then you have short shot extra edge. The other topics which have not been covered in short shot but have been asked in the recent exams that are covered in extra edge. So you have two options. First is you have to do short shot first. Second is you can then do the rapid revision or you can do the short shot extra edge or you can do second short shot extra edge and third rapid revision, whatever you want to do. Okay, the rapid revision I'm talking about is from your primary resource, right? So what I would recommend is do the short shot do short shot extra edge on the day one of the daily targets of the respective subject itself. Then in every subject folder, I've given you the PYT PDF, which gives you the list of the PYTs that have been asked from 2017 to 2023 in NEET PG and INICT both. Right. So once you're done with short shot, short shot extra edge, then you go through the PYT PDF. If you're following the daily targets, so for example, day three toxicology. So in FMT, uh, you know, you have been given the PYTs uh, section wise, topic wise. So toxicology, may you'll get a fair idea in NEET 2017, what was the question 2018 in INICT, what was the question? So you'll get a fair idea that what are the important subtopics in toxicology? You'll get an idea that what topics out of this have been covered in short shot and extra edge. And you'll get an idea then what are the topics that I need to focus on while I'm doing the rapid revision, right? So the sequence is short shot, short shot, extra edge, then have a look at the PYT PDF. Then you go to your rapid revision videos from your primary resource, right? Watch the entire rapid revision because it's going to be like a revision of the topics that you have already done in short shot and extra edge. It's going to be like a revision and active recall for that. Uh, try to revise whatever you have learned about that topic before you actually watch the rapid revision video for that topic. Any other extra point you learn about that topic, you write it down in your notes. During this entire process, remember, it's very, very important to make your one place resource notes. You are using multiple resources to grab the information and to learn the tricks, right? But at the end, what is most important is you have everything coming at one place so that when I'm done with this one cycle, right, we are finishing this timetable on 14th of April. So with this entire cycle, by 14th of April, you should have one resource for every subject, your own Handwritten notes is something which I uh, advise because it really, really helps when you make your own notes rather than relying on ready-made notes, right? So you get everything, all the information from short shot, short shot, extra edge and rapid revision at one place. And uh, so this is your theory part that has been covered, right? Now comes the MCQ solving skills. Okay, the third pillar, the first two pillars, concepts and mnemonics has been taken care from the MedSynapse app and your primary resource, right? Do not do the main videos as of now, you can skip the main videos. Then comes the MCQ solving skills. For MCQ solving skills, this is my personal favorite, you know, where I, where I love to work on a lot of hacks and tricks, basically on how to solve the questions fast, how to logically guess the answers, right? So uh, I teach you a lot of those skills on the MedSynapse app, which you would not learn anywhere else, no other platform would give you, right? So what do you need to do is always in the MCQ practice, it's your PYQs that you have to master the first, right? Because until and unless you master the PYQs, please do not solve about the other eccentric or extra Q bank questions. Master the PYQs first, right? So what you need to do here is first, uh, for example, day three toxicology, you have watched the videos, concepts, mnemonics done. Then you make a custom module from your primary resource app with the toxicology topic selected in FMT with the tags, NEET PG, AIMS, INICT, PYQs. That is the tags that you have selected so that you know that these are the PYQs that have been asked. Do not forget to do the FMGE PYQs also for your NEET PG and INICT exam. Vice versa for the FMG students, do not forget to do the NEET PG PYQs at least for your exam. They are important. We see a lot of overlap in the questions and the topics, right? So this is basically going to be like an assessment for you that whatever theory you have learned so far, whether it is sufficing you to answer that PYQs. If you come across any question that you are not able to answer, write it down. Uh, write, write down the extra information that you learn from the explanation of the PYQs. That's very, very important. Okay. And then what you do is in the MedSynapse app, you have a PYQ discussion folder itself, which is available. So first from the primary resource, you are doing the PYQ custom module. From the MedSynapse app, you are using the PYQ discussion folder, which is available in FMT, like you would have need PG PYQ, FMG PYQ, INICT PYQ. It is of course not all the PYQs, few selected PYQs that I pick up and discuss where I can help you with learning the tricks on how to get the answers right. 
right? So these videos are an absolute must. The PYQ discussion videos, which give you an insights on how does basically a topper approach a question, right? So please do this. This is like the must do in your first read. So I hope this gives you a clarity that how you have to approach first short shot, extra edge, rapid revision, PYQ discussion videos in MedSynapse app and the PYQ custom module. So this is like the bare minimum that you have to finish in your first cycle that is planned from 12th of January to 14th of April. And the fourth pillar revision is something that you have to take care of right from day one. Whatever you read today, revise tomorrow. Whatever you re uh, read tomorrow, revise it day after tomorrow. So every day keep a slot of one and a half to two hours daily for revising whatever you are reading the previous day and whatever are your personal volatile topics, right? Apart from that, in the timetable on every alternate Sunday, I've given you a GT day. So you need to give a GT again on your primary platform. Like I said, start with the recall GTs first um, because, you know, you'll get an idea into how well you are able to answer the questions that have been uh, exactly been asked in the previous exam. Okay, then on those GT days, I'll also be putting up a mini GT of either 40 questions or 50 questions on the MedSynapse app for the subscribers, which you will find in the test discussion folder, mini GTs, right? So for 12th of January, mini GT one of 50 questions has been uploaded. You have the test, you have the discussion, the video discussion of those questions again. So another area which will help you to build the MCQ solving skills, right? Very, very important. Please to watch all these mini GTs and their discussion videos. They'll help you build a lot of skills. Whatever you learn out of these mini GTs, put those questions and the relevant topics into the respective subject notes that you are making for your own, right? All your mnemonics and tricks that you learn with me, they have to go into your notes, right? Write down the mnemonics there because it will be easy for you to revise from there. A video that you are watching, watch it once, right? And put it down into the notes so that you don't have to watch the video again. And please refrain from, uh, you know, bookmarking a lot of questions in your primary resource as well, because that is something that you are never going to go back. But revising from the notes is very, very easy. So whatever information you have from a particular question that you are solving, try to put it in one line or two lines into your notes. And uh, you can also write down the year and the exam where this particular topic has been asked, right? Even when we, you are doing the GT review, you are writing down the explanation or some notes. You can write down that this is from GT 10, GT 11 or recall GT need PG 24, uh, right? Question number 127, question 100, because it's easy for you whenever you want to go back to the primary resource from where you have made this notes, it would be easy for you to go back and look into that if anytime you have a doubt on that, right? So this is how you work upon your concepts, mnemonics, MCQ solving skills and revision, the four pillars. And, uh, you know, I help you with all of these pillars on the MedSynapse app and PrepLadder app. So do make sure that you join me on this journey because we are going to make it fun, right? No burden, no boredom at all. And it is not as difficult as it seems like I always say. Just learn the right tricks. Apart from that, we keep meeting for the Med Connect meetup sessions on the MedSynapse app, which are informal sessions where I answer your queries. I give you some motivation, uh, right? I'll tell you the stories of my preparation journey or uh, some other topper who comes in and gives you the guidance, right? So there are a lot of things that keep happening together on the MedSynapse app. So I'm hoping to see you all there on the MedSynapse app, acing your upcoming exam, uh, you know, without any stress. So let's do it together. Let's crack it together. I'm there by your side always. Stay connected with me on my Telegram group as well, Dr. Nikita's MedSynapse, because that is where I keep giving you updates on the upcoming classes as well. Thank you so much, everyone. Keep studying, keep revising, keep MedSynapsing and keep winning.